If you fuck that one up, you're not gonna be the next Spidey. I can do anything I want. <laughs> this is a Ted review. You're so high on this movie right now. Fucking. You fuck Hillary Clinton, dude. You're thinking about? It? I was. I'd be like for thinking, America. <laughs> I was like, change the taxes. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to Bill. Bill like it. Bill, Bill walk in. Watch. Bill walk in and watch it. Can I just watch for just a little bit? I got the cameras recording. <laughs> Put on a black dress. Democrat. Ken Starr. <laughs> Mine was better. How dare you go before me? Mine was better than yours. Don't you hate that when you're having sex with a girl? Then you go before her. You go, <laughs> yeah, you go before her, but you feel the need to keep going because you gotta finish the and job. And shit's all flaccid. It kinda hurts. Yeah. Ted is trying to become, or trying to get human rights. He wants to marry his hot ass blonde girl from the first film. And that's, I mean, you guys have seen the trailer, so they pretty much tell you what it's all about. He wants to be a person with rights, and that's the movie. It was all right, it wasn't a bad film. There were parts in it that uh, laugh out loud moments. It just kind of got sucked up into the points where they were trying to make it like, I don't know, they were trying to go serious with it. First scene out from the gate is hilarious. There's a scene in it that has to do with Flash Gordon and cocaine. I love and it. And it's the, it's the funniest joke in the movie, one minute in, and like, cry laugh, like it's that funny, and it's shit your pants laughter. Then they go into the intro. It feels like it's 20 fucking minutes long. They do the, uh, the Family Guy thing. Yeah where uh, Ted does a musical number with a bunch of dancers and he's like doing this ritzy, fancy fucking dance. It's not even supposed to be funny. It's just like, it's a teddy bear dancing with people. That goes on and on and on. And you're like, okay, that really just takes the wind out of my sails. You, you, and yeah, you had a moment with cocaine. Go after cocaine. And I never thought I would say that, but go after cocaine, go harder. <laughs> it feels like Seth MacFarlane knows he's making a movie and he's used to making shows, so he feels like he has to add this epic feel to it. We get that it's a movie, you don't have to do a 10 minute dance number in the intro. He did the same thing in Main Ways to Die in the West. There's moments in this movie, like you said, that you will laugh your ass off and they're absolutely hilarious and you'll, you'll want to cry or fart or shit your pants, however you like to laugh. In between that, there's always two or three jokes that, yeah. that you're just like, yeah, there, yeah, that, it kind of slows down. Have you, have you heard of Truffle Butter? Truffle Butters? Yeah. No. I'm not 100% sure, but I think Truffle Butter, they make rap songs about it. There's a scene in it where Amanda Seyfried pulls out a guitar. She actually finishes the song. It's like a three minute sequence. And the whole joke is that all of a sudden a lobster shows up there. You, you spent 10 minutes trying to tell one joke because you just couldn't let go of that joke. He should have been like, I should edit this out because it takes too long, but I really want that punchline. And, and you have to sit through it just to get to well, like a half decent joke. Quick to the point, to the point no faking. Cooking MCs like a pound of bacon is how off the lights and I glow. It was like, red light, green light, go one, two, three. Red light, green light, one, two, three. I mean, you feel like that. It's stop and go, stop and go, because you want to get really into it and it gets really funny and starts going and it's this really cool thing and then all of a sudden it's like, we're never going to be really serious. Like, there's, at one point, there literally is like a 15 minute thing and you're just like, it's so fucking serious and you're just like, what the fuck? He wants to like have this Disney type feel over this grody movie. And what they don't get is the best scenes of Ted are when they're smoking pot, sitting on the couch, making jokes about Law and Order and shit like that. That shit is hilarious, and that's what the audience want more. We want Mark Wahlberg and the teddy bear getting fucked up and making funny jokes. Well, when they go to the jizz court, or the jizz bank, that's oh my funny. god, that was hilarious too. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh you god, coughed dude. up your lungs. I went to the doctor and just told me I had allergies. Does that sound like fucking allergies? It sounds like you just coughed up your bowl. Don't go to the fucking Walmart, Your doctor. bowl's gonna come out of your mouth. I, I thought I might have strep throat, so I was like, I better go get this shit checked out. Yeah, sucking that dick. Gonorrhea. <laughs> so, gold star. Mark Wahlberg seems almost like an afterthought sometimes in this mm -hmm. movie, and it sucks because the best part about this movie is Mark Wahlberg and his teddy bear. My favorite scene from the first head is when Mark Wahlberg, uh, when, the, when the hooker shits in the apartment, he's hiding behind <laughs> the phone, and he's like, I don't wanna touch you, you can never touch me with that hands again! And Mark Wahlberg just being a fucking stone idiot is hilarious. And every time Mark Wahlberg is on screen, you let I actually didn't know if Amanda Seyfried was gonna be able to pull off what she did in this, and it actually she worked pretty well with it. I liked her a lot. She, she, she got really hotter, dude. She did. Go she got way hotter. Your mom's butt crack. I'm gonna give it a seven point Yeah, I'm gonna, dude. I'm gonna give it a six point five. If you want to go see a movie and laugh at it? I'd say go see Ted. You know, go go see it and have a good time with it. It's just it's not gonna be like a landmark, one of the funniest movies you've ever seen in your life. But when it's funny, it's really funny. It's just, and it's way too long. Oh God. It's way too yeah. long. This movie goes on probably 25 to 30 minutes too long. But apparently there is an extra credit sequence if you watch. <laughs> and that was some weird shit. Like this waitress of ours, and she like grabs me by my shoulder like this. She's like, hey. She's, I was like, yeah. And she's like, stay after the credits. There's something happening. I'm like, okay. And then she didn't tell him I was in the fucking theater. So we did not stay for the extra credits. So there scene. is something happening. Because we were afraid that we were going to get raped. And it would have been a good kind of rape. That would have been a bad rape. Bad. Put the dick on. I didn't say that. Put the suit. That was insane. <laughs> uh, it was more like seven. It was yeah. like, I'm gonna fuck you with a fucking blade. <laughs> he told me to fuck her, so I did. I <laughs> fucked her. What's in the box? Oh shit, what's in the box? I'm guilty. I want to ask you a bunch of questions.
And I want to have them answered immediately. What's your favorite comedy sequel of all time? Shit, that's a horrible one, man. Did I just change your fucking life? It just fucking blew my mind mm -hmm. up. Austin Powers' the sequel was great. That was a good one. But Wayne's World 2. Oh, that was another good one. But yeah, uh, Hot Shots Part 2 wasn't bad. That was a good one, too. Yeah. That was a really good one. Major League 2. Major League... Oh, that's a great one, too. Damn, dude! It just fucking rolls! It's like you're fucking John Nash. How we done? Put it in the biscuit satchel! Let us know what you guys thought about the movie Blow and also what's your favorite comedy sequel of all time. Did guys! Say, what did you think about Blow? No, me <laughs> too. Oh, you said Blow. That's a good movie. <laughs> it was sad, though. Follow on Instagram, the link's below. Facebook, the link's below. Twitter, the link's below. Subscribe, the button is up. You're on Instagram? Master Shadoshis. Shadoshis. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie.